<laughs> okay, hi everyone. <clears throat> I had had a hard time to convince from 52 teams to come here and to listen to the great guy who is in this field already for 10 years and for seven years he is in startup community so he knows how to raise money what principles to use and what is important to be a team and a good team so thanks the ones who came the ones who still uses internet and watches that in this hall through another room come here guys mm -hmm. this is the right place to be and to see the man eye to eye and the ones who did not come of course Please enjoy that streaming through the internet. So, Arvidas, he'll present himself. The floor is yours. Yeah, I'm like I don't know how to sneak it, or sneak it, or something. Just, just a second. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know So, uh, I'll go ahead with 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 my semi Lithuanian English language. If that's fine with you, everybody understands English. For some reason, Lithuania today's English language is, uh, well, working, which is, which is true, which is true in, in the whole business community that English language is, is the one we are talking about. Uh, people, people are still coming. Uh, a little bit of introduction of myself. Uh, I'm an investor, I'm money, if somebody needs that kind of assistance. Uh, so we can we can talk about that. And I did a couple of my own startups early uh, last century. Uh, it was fine. It was interesting. Some of them they delivered decent res returns. Some of them we are still delivering uh, products and returns. <laughs> uh, we have invested so far in a couple of couple of interesting companies, and hope we are going to be a bit more known in. In, in the world, hopefully already next year. So let's go ahead. Uh, what I wanted to talk to you is, is about freedom. It's about freedom to create. It's about freedom to decide. And it's about freedom to live the life you really want, even if you have had a sleepless night. Uh, and the first thing I really, really would like to talk to you and, and, and just make, make a brief introduction about faith. Whenever we did a business, whenever we did investments, whenever we did any kind of you know, financing schemes, most of them worked because of faith, because of belief what, what we are doing, despite the fact that even business model might not be exactly right. Uh, financial situation might not be exactly perfect, but no faith, we usually drives projects, drives our lives ahead to a moment that we ultimately fulfill our dreams. I don't really know why it goes automatically like that, uh, but it's an interesting, interesting story. Uh, some time ago, uh, I have had a meeting, meeting with, with, with a friend who lives, uh, who lives in Israel. In, in he's an he's Israeli businessman. He is, uh, like every is Israeli, uh, he used to, used to be a military person. I'm still looking if it's not automatic. And, and I'm just, you know, we have had some time, time to talk, and, and I ask him, uh, look, uh, you guys have basically created or reg registered your state in 1948, right? And in Lithuania, we are still building our state for the last 2,000 years. Uh, why, why, why it is so? Why, why you guys managed, have managed so, so many things in 60 years and we are still struggling? And I said, well, well, we've got an hour of time. Uh, let's talk about it, we have some time. And he said, when, you remember the moment when Jews left Egypt? That was roughly 3,000 years ago. And he basically started, started discussion about 
Israel state from those 3,000 years ago. And that struck me a lot because, you know, business people, you know, man, man who is really looking, looking after money, after his own money, his, his client's money, he, he has been really looking into history and taking lessons from history. And I'm doing exactly like that. So, you know, that was that was moment when I started slowly, slowly entering, entering, you know, Jewish business logic. And, and it's always, it's, it's a part of Talmud. It's a par part of all, all, old, uh, old Bible. It's, it's about of, of, of five books. Every, 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 every business, businessman in Israel is, is somehow connected with Talmud. And, and that's, that's one, one interesting story uh, about learning God. Do you know that, I mean, we, are, we, we just assume that God is, is, is absolutely perfect, but the God is a learning one. Uh, and it's, it, everything starts with, with, with the tables. When Moses talked to God, God, uh, you know, put down ten, ten statements and gave it to Moses. Moses goes back and broke tables. And what happens then? Moses goes back, and God has learned his lesson. God orders Moses to write it down. So Moses himself writes down his own business plan, his own statutes, and goes back and it starts working. And it is working last 3,000 years. So God has learned the lesson that you no know, man has to write himself in order to fulfill dreams. It's about planning. It's about it's absolutely ancient statement about about a planning and about planning of of a destiny. You know, I'm not sure if Moses was the first one who who introduced table uh, tablets. I mean, it it all continues like that. We've got I mean we continue continue same logic. And Steve Jobs, I mean, he also presented tablets, and we are writing on the same tablets. If you suddenly suddenly introduce uh, a word tablet into Google, what you get? You get two sets. You get iPad or Samsung. I have to use some more Samsung today. Uh, and you're getting ancient tablets, how people did. Everything with finger. So we, 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 we just continue, continue the same pace. I even, even put a little bit about font. Uh, we are startup. The fund has been created two years ago as a funny, interesting, hopefully successful machine whose aim is to invest into early stage companies. Uh, we are targeting, targeting companies with two, three years old. Uh, it might be company itself, it might be prototypes, it might be whatever, whatever what can be turned into our business, but we are investing into businesses. We are investing into limited liabilities, UABs in Lithuanian language. It's where we are putting money. So far we have, our portfolio consists of 16 companies, uh, technically a little bit more, but there are 16, 16 companies in a variety of industries. We've got, we've got a bunch of, bunch of investments in, in a pure uh, production. We've got a bunch of investments into information technologies and <coughs> sorry, and a couple of invest investments into really, really something which we don't really understand where it goes today, but it's technically now fund. It's called uh, spaceship technologies. You know, everything which doesn't 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 exist exists and uh, everything which needs to be developed further with, with a lot of energy. So it's where, it's where we are doing. The fund, fund consists of, of, of money, uh, our own money. We are, invest, we are investors, we are private individuals who are investing with the public institution's money. And that's another interesting, interesting synergy which we are still, still looking how, 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 how and when, when it's, uh, it's working. Key issues, key issues when we are putting in money is a management team. And it's not about uh, technical skills. It's more about, about team itself. If team can function, 
if team can, team can attract professionals whenever it's needed, if team is able, able to fulfill plans which have been stated into a business plan. There is nothing fabulous. It's, it's about team. But when we understand the team, uh, team is a little bit more stronger, stronger body than, than just a bunch of friends who have been smoking the last three days. And a big question for this team, what do you want? What do you really, really, really want in your hearts? I mean, sometimes in our lives, I mean, there is, there is a monetary issue and we have, we need the money and that's it. Sometimes we want to be famous, you know, make lectures, you know, dance and dance on the floor or on TV. So, but basically decide what you really want. It's crucially important when you start business or start venture. Decide what you want. Be precise, exactly. And that helps a lot. And we spent, as investors, and here in Lithuania and all, all over the world, investors, and especially business angels, spend a lot of time trying to understand the persons, where we are going to put money. I mean, how does he look like from inside? I mean, it's, it's called, you know, technically it's called chemistry and whatever. But that's, that's a question. That's always a question. And whenever, it's very easy to see the person who is coming, coming to a pitch, or who is coming, coming to investors, what he really wants. What he really wants is always above money, and it's always more than just money. It's usually, it's, you know, you know what it is. It's passion. All businesses have been created with passion. So, I'm, you know, investors are very rarely, rarely talking about love, but we, we talk about that a lot. There is no perfect time. I mean, sometimes, you know, we say, oh, okay, guys, you know, yeah, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. No, no, no. Last two years were better than today. No. There is always, there is always now. Nothing exists. Nothing else exists. It's only now. Only now you can create business and just do it. Simply, simply go ahead and, and, and make a first step. And that is, that is more important than having a perfect business plan. And a fear. And a second question, question, in most cases when we are getting, when we are getting questions to us, you know, how and what, you know, how much percent do you take, I don't care about percents. I care about returns. Like, remember, you know, Casino Royale, Agent 007, a famous statement. Remember which one? I care about decent return. That's it. Nothing else. So investors are like that. They're interested, they're interested in team. They're interested in venture itself. They're interested in returns. Not so much in, in percents, control or no control. We don't care about control if everything goes well. We care about control when things don't go well. And sometimes it's just it's just more simple to start and do it on your own without investors and investments or maybe with your own friends and team and just just make it make it like that though issue is you might if company starts growing you might have troubles manage, managing growth and that's it so investors usually mean that a company can't grow company can grow faster than without them. That's the only thing we are doing. We, as investors, we are considering growth our main investment reason. Not to control, not to, not anything else. We are talking, talking time to time about crowdsourcing. Um, just yesterday, I've read, I've read a note from, from, from American Security Commission that we actually were almost ready with, with legislation to launch in in U.S. possibility uh, for crowdsourcing. I mean, it's, it's a very technical, technically difficult instrument. I mean, it's very easy to say, you know, 10,000 people give you, ten, give you $100, you know, how to arrange that. I mean, it's completely illegal in this country 
like in most European countries. But once Americans started, you know, I believe that already next year some of European comp comp countries will adopt legislation which allows crowdsourcing. Uh, in this country, hopefully we are going to talk about that already next year, when we are becoming less, less conservative about our, our financial situation. And that is, is going to be an interesting in, in instrument. So when, whatever you are doing now, there is a chance for you to talk about a variety of, of, of financing possibilities, starting from uh, funds like ours, starting from business angels, go and go into completely wild crowdsourcing uh, environment, which I don't really understand how it's functioning, but I've seen a seen couple of cases, and it looks interesting. It looks really interesting. Uh, it doesn't guarantee, though, that, that this financing will, will stay for a long time, but in principle, it's, uh, there is a possibility. Most businesses actually start without planning. 90% of Lithuanian companies do not make any budgets at the end of the year, and we are talking about big and small. We are talking about a whole variety, variety of businesses who is not uh, engaged in any sort of, sort of planning and market research. But those who do, they seem to be more successful. They seem to be more uh, fast. They seem to be just simply more of a company they, than, uh, than, than without it. In many cases, even ourselves, we have talked a lot about, about market research. I know one thing, focus group doesn't work. There are market research, which is uh, logic and, 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 and gives, gives you answers. But there are situations, and especially in, in, in a new economy, there are situations when it simply doesn't work. It simply, sim this market simply doesn't exist. Uh, my first, uh, how to say it politely, kick was in an ice cream ca factory. Some time ago, we have been owners of the largest Baltic ice cream factory. And we have been looking at, at growth possibilities, and, and the idea came from the laboratory. You know, guys, let's make uh, ice cream taste of uh, chocolates after eight. It's, it's a mint and chocolate, and, and, and it has been. You know, ice cream was phenomenally taste for me. Um, it was light green with dots of chocolate. I mean, it looked fabulous. Absolutely, and then we, we introduced it in, into three focus groups, and focus groups, everybody came back excited that it's, it's a thing the world has been waiting for. Wow, the product has been launched, and unfortunately we didn't have chances to uh, follow sales, because there were no sales. Nobody was buying this ice cream except the focus group people. <laughs> there were no sales. There were simply no sales. I mean, we did everything logically, academically correct, absolutely perfect business planning, but it didn't work. Simply didn't work. Why? I don't know. Maybe wrong timing. Many factors. Everybody who tried this ice cream at my home, I was, I was a loyal buyer. Uh, everybody said that it's, it's fabulous, but we never bought it again. I mean, it, it just happens. It just happens, and sometimes it's, it's very difficult to predict exactly. So make your own market research, make analysis, but don't be 100% sure that the answers are right. It helps. It just helps. Planning seriously helps. Why? Because whenever you talk about, about, about a product, whenever you, you talk about launch, there is certain logic, there is certain logic, and if, if it simply deviates from your plan, you know that you are either in trouble or everything is ex extremely good and you need investors. Do that. Do that. Please.
No. Plan, 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 plan. No. What do you mean? Wait a minute. What do you mean you have no time? What do you mean you don't have time? You don't own time. Time is not yours. Time is, is a fifth dimension and that's it. So take it. You don't have it. You either take it or you don't take it. Just sit down and plan. Nobody gives you. I mean, you decide. It's what I'm trying to say. First slide, be free. Decide, decide, decide your own terms. Just decide. Even if, if pitch is happening in one hour, I will do it next day. That's it. Yes. And you know why? Because we plan. You know why? Because we want to decide. And you know why? Because nobody else decides. <laughs> okay. It's why we are here. I'm not giving you uh, my opinion to be implanted in your brains. I want you to argue. I want you to create your own thoughts, your own ideas, but I want to say, if if uh, entrepreneur takes a courage, decides to be a man and decides, then it works perfectly. Investors are lazy ones. We want to sit down, receive it. I mean, it's always fine, but you know, in most cases we are taking action. Just take action. Just do that. Three key, key, <coughs> three key areas of development. What we really see, every year we foresee at least 200 business plans. We are not talking about ideas, we are talking about business plans and enterprises and ventures. So in three years, I've seen at least 500. It's a number. And most cases we see three bullet points. Market trends and international experience. Many people have no understanding what is going on in the world. That is very interesting. Even on technological level, sometimes I see investors more clever than entrepreneurs. Just don't do that, guys. Read magazines. Read newspapers. Buy magazines. So next week, I'm <coughs> in our office, we are going to receive... Um, I'm buying Business Week. I love it, among many others. But I, next week, around Wednesday or Thursday, we are getting a printed copy of Business Week, which I've read already yesterday. App is a perfect one. Now I just tap in Business Week app on, and I'm getting magazine the day it has been printed, not on the day when it has been sent. I need information now. And what I've read yesterday just striked me enormously. So Business Week basically revealed what is going to happen in Europe around May, June next year. That's fantastic. It's about, it's about huge, phenomenal, amount of invest investments which are going to be done into mobile technologies. I couldn't believe that. It's about chargers. It's an absolutely new way of charging instruments for mobile and computers to come in, coming to a market. Even Procter & Gamble is investing in that. Gamble's about gamble. They do that. Phen phen phenomenal. I recommend, I recommend it to read. I mean, it's, there are very interesting business opportunities. And especially magazines you are taking from the US. They are excellent, excellent for you to predict trends. Uh, fast Company is absolutely fantastic. You can subscribe free of charge to their newsletters and you are getting fresh, really fresh stuff into your computer on a daily basis. Do that. Just do that. Just read it. 
And that conferences, and I'm talking about most of the free stuff, that conferences will give you fantastic insight on not only about, about technology, it's about pitches, you know, how people talk on a stage. And planning skills, yeah, we talked about, and just, just do that. And, and when it comes to planning, there is no need to be very creative. There is a mind map, which is also a plan. Do mind mapping. You, you know what is a mind mapping. Just do that. It's also a plan. Investors might not exactly immediately accept it as a business plan, but we can follow logic. We can follow what is happening, and, and we work ourselves a lot with, a lot with that. So there's nothing, nothing fabulous. I mean, just, just do that. In many cases, we also see a comment, you know, we can do that, we can do that, we can do that, but what we are doing? No, 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 no. We can do that, we can do that, we can do many, many, many things. But what is the ultimate goal? How does it look like when the work is finished, everybody is happy and sitting and enjoying life, how does it look like? Make a picture. Make a picture of end product and then iterate backwards. By that, you are getting excellent plan. Have a clear picture of a final product in your mind. One of, once upon a time, I have had a picture of green ice cream. Well, it didn't work exactly like planned, but the product was on shelves. When we start with today and we say, OK, uh, I need to make a nap. I need to make a living. I need to buy a coffee for my girlfriend or boyfriend. And in the meantime, I have to register a company, file for, for our registry, raise the capital. I mean, it's, it's a nightmare. It's, you know, stop it. But once you start from with, with the end, and you see, you see you know, how it looks like, let's say, two years from now, that's fine. And you iterate backwards, it makes everything much easier. It's just much easier. Uh, Steve Jobs used to say, you know, it's, it's all about dreaming. He was a daily dreamer. You know, those who have seen Steve, Steve Jobs in pictures of his, his room, there were no furniture, it's just a floor. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. Investors make mistakes, entrepreneurs make everybody makes mistakes. There is no problem with mistakes. It's a problem not to give up. We understand that in many business plans, we're usually getting adapted to a situation which is, which is now, and the situation is changing. And in most cases, we don't know what the situation is around us. There are so many, so many variables in, 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 in environment. There are so many things which are coming from completely from unknown. Uh, so we cannot, we cannot really predict, uh, predict what is going to happen with our product or with our, with, with our business. Uh, those who have read Outliers, you, know, you, can, you can find a lot of examples uh, how, 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 how it functions or how it doesn't function. Uh, I've read a fantastic book, uh, it's called uh, Adapt, uh, how every success starts with failure. Never, never seen it. Adapt. Uh, I would love to, to, to tra translate into Lithuanian language. I would really try to suggest Omnitel, I mean, they, they usually translate phenomenally successful books. Uh, and it that book, there is a story about a young student, basically like, like, like you, who decided to make a diploma work uh, to make a toaster. You know what a toaster is. You put the bread, you push a button, bread is warm, everybody happy. I mean, it's simple like that. It costs, I don't know, 50 liters an hour supermarket maximum. So, how much time do you need to create a toaster? Two months, it seems to be logical, that was a business plan. He takes a blanket from his bed, puts it on the floor, uh, goes into shop, you know, Tesco, as far as I remember, in the UK, 
uh, buys a toaster, 50 pounds, puts down, reassembles every piece clear, and he starts making a toaster. What he is really doing, he is trying to copy what is on his own floor. Uh, long story short, it took him two years to complete creature. Most biggest problem was the plastics. So he, he would buy you know, plastic bags and press them. Uh, but ultimately, he created toaster, copied toaster, with toaster which was, was next, to, next to his bed, plugs in, toaster boom, explodes, and nothing left there. A man who is using all kinds of technology, one of us who is sending, sending people to space, is unable to make a toaster. We are working with a fantastic technology. We've got so much technologies in our bags and pockets, and we cannot make a toaster. Interesting. The world has become so complex that we don't really know what is happening near us. We start working in, in a deeper and deeper niches, and we are happy in these niches, and everybody, somebody else is also in a niche, and, and, and we are working in these deep waters. That is strange, that is interesting, but that gives you fantastic opportunity. Once you have penetrated your own niche, nobody will kick you out. You can either be happy, be a king, or be rich by selling, selling your venture. It's very, very simple. It's chaos. I mean, we talk we, and we see a lot of chaos. We see, we see our, some of our ventures, which we start in Poland and we, un, we end up in Hong Kong or Korea. We are, our, our company, see, even in our restaurant business, we are buying stuff from London. We are buying stuff from many other countries. So this is, this is what is happening. Our lamp, we've got investment into lamp factory, which buys from, buys from Hong Kong and sells to Russia products. This is it's, it's, it's what is happening. So don't be, don't be afraid. Learn to adapt. Industries are changing. On, on a daily basis, we see new and new technologies coming. What is the end? I don't know. But some technologies, it's a very interesting peri period of in humanity's life. We've got technologies which are absolutely dream, like a tablets. And we've got technologies which haven't changed completely for the last hundred years. Like Ford created his V8 engine, nothing else happened since that time. So there are phenomenal inequalities. I've seen, I've seen a video of, of, of Italian uh, engineer who has created uh, micro reactors. So he invited journalists and uh, to, 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 for testing session. Somebody seen it. Very interesting. Uh, Italian engineer calls journalists, invites them to his warehouse. Journalists are coming, he opens doors and he says, well, choose your own reactor. Nuclear reactor. And he says, well, one is chosen and he starts testing. That's it. Micro stuff. Uh, check it on, on YouTube, it's free. Very interesting. So there are lots of, lots of, lots of interesting, interesting technologies just, just happening. We don't know what is going to happen with, with our cars, because our cars contain a piece of element which hasn't changed. I mean, it's just like engine. And just like two, one, two, three hundred years, something like that. It's the oldest, oldest piece of technology which we still use. We are learning new things. We are learning and learning and learning. So I used to, I used to start my, my business career you know, using Macs when I moved into PCs. Now I'm again on Mac. And they have changed. Wow. But, but that's, that's a pace. That's a pace. And once I started, started on my career under communism re regime, so you know, we were planning like you know, 10, 15 years ago, and that was fun. For, for fun. Now, when I see planning more than five years, I mean, I think it's crazy. Nobody can really realistically plan his own life 
more than three years. I understand that we all have dreams and goals and so on, but business plans, what we do is, is no more than three years. I mean, it's totally unrealistic to have five. Many things, just too many things are changing. So it's fun. What we have to learn is to work in teams. What we have to, lear to learn to work in a very s different and strange environments, you don't really know what is, what and how things are going to turn. Just recently, one of our portfolio company, company sent me an email and said, well, there are uh, investors who are interested in, in our company and, and, and so on. I said, who are they? Uh, and, and the answer was, well, it's a geeks on plane. What? Geeks on plane, what we are talking about? Uh, yeah, it's, it's the name of organization, Business Angel Group, which is just traveling around the world, looking at technologies, looking at companies. We call themselves geek, Geeks on Plane, and you know you can connect them when they have landed right, in, in airports. So a meeting is planned in the airport in one, one, one of European countries, and that's it. That's totally different business models, totally different. In the in US, there are lots of creative things, but even in Europe, you know, we, we, we have a lot, lots of contacts with, with, with European business angel networks and, and absolute variety of things, absolute variety. You know, one, one starts with, with uh, I don't know, banking and suddenly end, ends up in, in biotechnology. Well, it's actually a Fainian case. One more topic I wanted, wanted to cover is if I have time a little bit, don't get bored, I'm finishing, uh, is, about, is about management of young companies. We are board members of roughly, roughly 15, 16, actually more because we've got previous portfolio companies, so we actually have around 18, 18 companies where we are on boards. And I have graduated board member school and so on and so on, but it doesn't work. These companies are different from a traditional, traditional limited liability company having its own corporate governance. In early stage companies or technological startups, there is totally different corporate governance. I mean, people, people spend more time creating and developing rather than sorting out, you know, a president and roles and, and auditors and so on. In most cases, we have no hierarchies. Whenever, whenever investors, managers meet in a room, yeah, you can call it board meeting, but it's actually partners meeting. It's more partners meeting than, than somebody, you know, boss, somebody idiot. No. Uh, it's, 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 it's more about, about planning and working together. In one of the company, we are having board meetings where all employees present, and it's very good. So we can make decisions fast and implement fast. We can, we, they can see how we think, and we, we see how they plan and how we do things. It's, it's fantastic. Just imagine that you can have a board meeting with all employees, in any, 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 any other typical, typical enterprise. I mean, just, it's, it's crazy. I mean, you can't, can't imagine that. But we do have. We, we, it's, it's, how, it's how we work, in, at least in some, some, some of our plants. But there is a legislation. But there is a requirement. But there is a rule which is understandable by venture capital, by corporate people and by law. Companies should have a board. Companies should have uh, a functioning legal framework under which, under which we are working. Uh, it's very important to understand that a board member has got a personal responsibility for what is happening in a company. So if things turn really bad, uh, there might be some court cases happening. So investors, investors understand one way working f in, in the company is through boards. 
and so far we haven't created anything anything new but but we have to be creative we have to be creative we have to understand what is our ultimate goal and then pursue it there are two reasons one reason why venture capitalist or investor he it's only way for him to, to, to really work in a company. There is another, another angle, which is entrepreneur's point of view. Why entrepreneur needs a board? Entrepreneur usually expects two things. Network, contacts, especially sales contacts, and, and money. I mean, investors are coming with money, so there's nothing fabulous about it. I mean, it's, it's, a lot, it's just it's the way it is. But usually, entrepreneur expects that kind of, uh, uh, how to say, experience, experience in business or especially networks. But in some cases, and in many cases actually, entrepreneur does, doesn't ex express that. Entrepreneur doesn't ask a question. Entrepreneur does not demand from investors. So what I'm saying might be backfiring, but please, Ask investor what you want, not only what they want. By that, we are establishing much better bonds. By that, we are establishing, hopefully, much better companies. Two fundamental lessons learned. One lesson is we have to work as one team. Second lesson, there are no other rules work as one team. You have to learn, once investor is already in your room, to in include him into, into your working processes. Time to time, for instance, we, uh, we do have access, or we might have access, access to, to customer relation management systems. Sometimes we are getting, getting emails copied, copied to us just to get a feeling what is happening in a company. I'm just quickly, quickly, a uh, couple, of, couple of bullet points about what is happening. It's, it's really, investors, investors don't really want to be dominant position in a company. But in many cases, de facto, we are. We are investors. We have put their own money. They do have acceptance on, on, of a business plan, and we do expect certain results to be happening. These are not people who are going to run your companies on a daily basis. Though in some of our, our portfolio companies, there are angels who take in responsibility on, on a daily basis, at least for a sh short period of time. But that's not, that's not our goal. And when it comes, when it comes to investors who are board members, what we are really ultimately looking at, looking at one, one, one issue, which is find the right top manager for your company. When we do investment, we see and we expect that the guy into whose company we are investing is the right one. But times might be changing. And because the company is developing, because the company is growing, uh, we might need uh, another manager who is more, more in managerial than in creative parts. And these are issues which are constantly on the table, constantly on the table. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen many, many companies whose managers, after one or two or three years, are not the founders any longer. Uh, Microsoft is one of them. There is no, 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 no problem in that. It's a problem when we are tied to position and not tied to business. And that's it. Who you want to be? You want to be a king or you want to be rich? Managing director, incompetent managing director is a king at best. Any board has to be competent. Whenever a board is formed, board has to be competent. And as investors, we are trying to educate ourselves. 
prior to any invest investment we do, we are trying to learn as much as possible about technologies. We are trying to learn about, about the histories of the companies. You know, some of the histories, some, some of the companies started with, with rubber, rubber shoes and tires, ending up in, in, in fantastic quality mobile phones. We are learning. We are taking active role in learning. We also expect that entrepreneur learns a little bit about our activities. That usually helps enormously. And since my time, time is running out, uh, just a little bit of statistics. Those companies who have got m mentors, advisors, consultants, as investors, technically it's called business angel, those companies are more successful. Those companies are making more money for everybody, not only for investors. Just you understand, please, that when somebody, somebody is coming, coming to you as a shareholder, usually, if they receive return, everybody else does the same. I mean, once once Google, Google got listed, so many, so many engineers became, became fabulously rich. And do you, you know what we did? Very interesting. Sorry? Yes, we sold stocks, we received the cash, and suddenly you are getting billions of dollars of cash, what you do. Sorry? Invest back. And they have invested fantastic amounts of money into, into market, into, into startups. So many Google engineers became business angels in, in, in a whole bunch of startups. I mean, Twitter is one of them. I mean, it's <coughs> it started just boiling. So when an investor receives the cash, because he's an investor, he invests again. So it's, it's how economy is moving, and that's it. It's not, no, 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 any, any miracles about it. Choose partners. Work, work, work on partner relations. Work on chemistries with your partners, with your investors. There are many, there are many people. There are many people around with whom you can, you can create partnerships. So just work on that part. I mean, it's critically important because just ask your question. It's, it's, it's invest, investors are a bit like marriage. I mean, I mean, sex, you know, lasts one hour, but 23 more hours left a day, you have to stand that person around. And once somebody says, like we do, we are investing for four or five years, imagine that you are going to work with guys like us Day and night, sometimes, for five years. And if answer is no, speed up and find another one. Divorce is very, very, very expensive. Legally, we include divorce cases now in our agreements. And if you feel that there might be not exactly partner, maybe a little bit, work on the legal part of it. Make agreements early before venture. Make agreements as soon as technically possible. In, even if you have lovers, best friends, just do that. You don't know how your venture is going to end up. Make a simple sheet A4 format and just put down the basic rules how you're going to play. It will help. It will help everybody. Everybody has seen a movie about the Facebook. Maybe they're still in courts. Why do we need that? And ideas. You will have a lot of ideas. Just start implementing them. What is, what is interesting somehow is, is that once one idea has happened, Suddenly there is another one and a third one. And a Learn to select ideas. Learn. But do at least one. It's very difficult to focus on uh, many ideas at the same time. Usually the one which can be realistically implemented. And a <coughs> good joke is much better than a poor business plan. 
it's just much more fun. And whenever you have a chance to create a business plan which has got a fun element, just do that. Everybody likes fun. Everybody likes interesting, unusual, crazy things. Just do that. There's nothing wrong about it. We are all humans. So we just touched a little bit water, waters. Uh, I, have, I have a chance to, 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 to answer your questions now or later on today. I know that you guys are busy, busy with, with, with your work. So if, if there are any immediate questions, go ahead and ask. If there are no questions now, we can, we can discuss maybe between two or five. Yes, go ahead. Sure. You, you told that it's like previous, you started this venture project and uh, how you, for yourself, uh, say it's good, what you are doing, and you like it, and uh, it's successful? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's, first of all, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. Uh, you live, uh, constantly live in a, how to say, outside comfort zone. That's business. Yeah, that's business. Uh, it's very difficult to say now if we have results like you know have been planned and, and so on. It's, it's still too too little time. Uh, I do hope that the next year, spring, we are going to have interesting news. You know that's 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 about about you know time when I can can realistically say. Now I enjoy a lot. But I'm still in, in, in a planning process, I would say. It's not like, like you know, um, we are happy, everything is functioning. No. No, many, many interesting things are happening still. In, within the information technology field, we feel like we have to learn a lot more. That's for sure. We are, we are, seems to be we are much better on the production side. I mean, just glasses. Yeah? Okay, so uh, I believe mean, everybody is back into into drawing board. Let's do it. Thank you.